Well, howdy, everyone, and thanks again for joining me as we continue to read through the Bible together. We are back in the New Testament, and we are reading through the book of 2 Corinthians. Uh, today, we are reading 2 Corinthians chapter 2. Now, if you recall, Paul sent this letter again to provide encouragement and instruction and correction to the saints in Corinth uh, following some difficulties that he had heard that they had had in the church. And um, he did so beginning the letter with his usual greeting, but also then talking about the comfort that we have from God in suffering. And he first talked about God's comforting of himself and his colleagues in their suffering, but also then tying that to the very same comfort, that very same comfort that all the saints have in Christ. And Paul went on to talk about how God was merciful and delivered them in suffering. He talked about their godly sincerity and having a good conscience and their ministry and their work for the gospel. And then he also talked about wonderfully how all the promises of God are yes and amen in Christ. And so that is a wonderful thing to know and consider, um, along with other matters that he talked about in sparing the church. And so as we come to chapter 2, um, we see at the very beginning in verse 1, this brief reference that points us back to, as I mentioned in the video on chapter 1, uh, points us back to a second visit that he had with them. Um, he left Ephesus and he went back to Corinth, visited them, and uh, however, it was a sorrowful visit. It didn't go well at all. And so he wrote them a letter and sent that uh, via Titus, um, and he references that here briefly in verse 1. And uh, But here his focus is, is forgiveness and forgiving and restoring the offender. Um, he also then concludes the chapter with our triumph in Christ. And so let's read together 2 Corinthians chapter 2. Here is the very word of God, written for you and for me today. But I determined this within myself, that I would not come again to you in sorrow. For if I make you sorrowful, then who is he who makes me glad but the one who is made sorrowful by me? And I wrote this very thing to you, lest when I came... I should have sorrow over those from whom I ought to have joy, having confidence in you all, that my joy is the joy of you all. For out of much affliction and anguish of heart I wrote to you with many tears, not that you should be grieved, but that you might know the love which I have so abundantly for you. But if anyone has caused grief, he has not grieved me, but all of you, to some extent, not to be too severe. This punishment, which was inflicted by the majority, is sufficient for such a man, so that, on the contrary, you ought rather to forgive and comfort him, lest perhaps such a one be swallowed up with too much sorrow. Therefore, I urge you to reaffirm your love to him. For to this end, I also wrote, that I might put you to the test, whether you are obedient in all things. Now whom you forgive anything, I also forgive. For if indeed I have forgiven anything, I have forgiven that one for your sakes in the presence of Christ, lest Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Furthermore, when I came to Troas to preach Christ's gospel, and a door was opened to me by the Lord. I had no rest in my spirit, because I did not find Titus my brother. But taking my leave of them, I departed for Macedonia. Now thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph in Christ, and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. For we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved, and among those who are perishing. To the one, we are the aroma of death leading to death, and to the other, the aroma of life leading to life. And who is sufficient for these things? For we are not, as so many, peddling the word of God, but out of sincerity, 
but as from God, we speak in the sight of God in Christ. Amen. Praise God for this, his very word. And praise God for Paul's words here to the people and even to us today regarding forgiveness and restoration of the offender. Uh, that is an important piece of church discipline. Uh, we must never forget that church discipline always has the goal and the aim of reconciliation and restoration. Uh, but also praise God for the triumph that we have in Christ and the, the call, the work that he has given us in the ministry of the gospel uh, to take that forth even as we are encouraging those who are brothers and sisters in the Lord and as we are a light and a witness to those who are in darkness. Um, praise God for these things. Uh, for indeed, like Paul said, we are not peddling the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as from God, we speak in the sight of God in Christ. So may faithful ministers, may faithful saints continue to proclaim the truths and the very truths that are in the word of God. Amen. Well, I hope you're encouraged by the reading of the word today. Join me again next time as we continue in 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Take care, and we'll see you then.